hi guys welcome back to another video if you are new my name is Rochelle and I'm here today to share the final episode of our study permits visa application don't forget to like to share and to subscribe for this video for this final wrap-up I'll be showing you how to complete some of the forms and the final steps that you need in order to submit your application Okay guys, so we begin again on the screen where we logged in to our portal and to the checklist. We'll open the application guide. This is the actual application form that we're going to fill out together. Alright, so that's the basic information that you should be able to find. Um, the first one is the UCI number. If you're a new applicant, you will not have one. If you're an exist, if you're an old applicant, as in you've applied to the embassy before, you will have one. If you don't remember it, don't sweat it. Right, they put in the service that you want the language in. They put English, so the form will remain in English. Put in your full name, so that's your last name, and a given name would be your first and your middle name. So we put that in right there, and then it asks if you've ever used any other names. For me, I I did because I I had a, I have a maiden name, so I entered my maiden name. Given name is the same, so I just left that out. And it asks you for your sex, date of birth. So I'm just gonna go through some of these parts fast because they're really easy for you to fill out. My country is Jamaica. Citizen, I am Jamaican. And I'm currently living in, I, I did my application from Jamaica. There are some persons who do from other countries. Please ensure you enter the correct information. And I didn't have anywhere that I previously lived in the last five years. I've always been in Jamaica, so I put no for that one and I move on. So it grays it out, it means you don't need to answer it. And here I am applying from the same country, Jamaica. I am currently married. I remember Canada also accepts common law, so you can enter your common law um, details as well. So just ask you for the date of marriage and stuff like that right there. Into your spouse details and we'll move on. So, our language here is English. I can't speak anything else. I did French a long time in CXC. I got a fat theory, so I left that there. Put in a passport information next, guys. Ensure it's the correct information. Canada is a sticker for information, so make sure nothing is incorrect. If possible, try and get someone to relook your documents, your form, after you've entered information. Issue date and expiration date. Moving right along. So for here, you know, it's asking about um, Taiwan and stuff. We don't have those, so it will automatically black out, grow out all that for us to not answer. If I have a USPR, no, I don't. It grows it out. Now it's asking for your contact information, mailing address and stuff like that. Fill it out properly. through this quickly all right so here um, based on the acceptance letter you'll find all information for your school right here so you just basically um, copy and paste in information from the form to this form here Mm, 
basically put if we're doing business, science, anything, you put it right there. Where your school is located, the province, the city, and the exact address. And you ask it for the DLI number. And when you'll start and when you'll end, all of this information will be on your form. I was actually making up a DLI number, but it didn't accept it, so I went ahead and looked for the actual number because clearly the form is so sensitive and I entered the correct number and I was able to proceed. Okay, so for where it asks for your tuition cost, you should just put in the amount for one year. Yeah. I leave my room on board blank, and then where it says funds available, you put the $10,000. Put yourself or whoever will be paying for your um, school fees. And that's that for that section. And then this is just asking some other details about your education. We can quickly go through this part, because this is stuff that you would know whatever prior education that you had. And enter employment details under this section as well. From when to when. All right, so we'll speed through this part as well. I'm just filling in some stuff guys all right and then the background information it says asking for tuberculosis I put no in a, in a mental disorder I put no have you stayed beyond the valid, valid, validity of your time in Canada no have you ever been refused guys for this part I made an error on my form and I had to send a web form so I was previously denied a US visa if you notice it says or any other territory ensure you read that part and fill out the correct answer. I was refused a US visa from in primary school thereabout, and I forgot about that. Then you select if you've ever been arrested. I selected no. And you go through all of these. Most of them will be no. Well, all of them really should be no. <laughs> and you ask if you're giving them consent. If you're giving CIC consent, you put yes. You put your signature, which is just your first name, your dots, and your last name, and you put the date. So this form is not physically signed, it's just validated and uploaded. So I'm going to try and validate mine now and see if it goes through. Okay, so apparently it went through. I'm just double check it. Oh no, it didn't go through. So you see where you see those green boxes? I needed to give an explanation. So I'll put I was just I was denied a US visa. Once. Yeah. I think there's another error up top. Let's see. Usually it's in red, so you know where the error is or what needs to be fixed. Oh, so I couldn't put January because January has passed. So I, I needed to change the date. I think I put it to um, December to September or thereabout. And now we should be able to validate it. See what happens. And then I'm just saving the form here now on my desktop so I can have it to upload in the actual um, portal. All right, so I'm going back to the portal here. Press upload file. Oh, so it signed me up, guys. Yeah, okay, you know, I took too long. So it signed me up. But don't worry, as usual, we sign in again and we get the show on the road. Alright, so here we are again. So I just selected upload file. Browse wherever you save it on your desktop. 
me go ahead and find it there and upload it here is mine upload file here then there we go then we'll go to return to documents so we can continue the process so it asks for the letter of acceptance you'll have that already on the desktop you just upload that passport so you scan the information page of your passport you put up a financial information and you know you have to put up a photo so you scan the photo and upload it as well and now we're looking at the family information form to fill out so right here it will tell you the five the, the, the general form the 5645 you can use this one but you can also fill out the 57071 which is for jamaica because this one asks for children mother father sister brother uncle this one asks for everybody, everybody information but for jamaicans you don't need that one you can just fill out the 5707 form that's one i did right so i did 57071 and it was fine it was perfectly fine as well so this form though you have to sign it so you can either print print it and sign it or i'm not sure i think you're able to use a digital um digital signature to proceed all right and next we're going to our application form this is the one that gives you the regular um trv because it's a study permit plus a, plus a form plus this trv is a temporary resident visa that allows you to travel back and forth so you can enter and leave canada while you're studying let's say put in this, this this form is very short it doesn't ask you for much information name military information and it asks for your previous um travel history and stuff like that so this form is very short and straightforward so i want me to note this one guys right if you have any government position your travel history and yeah that's that for that and yes this one is also to be validated no signature is actually needed just to validate it save it and upload it here and you're good to go now the section that says the client information form this is where you put all your other supporting documents so if you want to show your land title the car title any other stuff you put it right down there your daughter marriage your, your, your child's um, birth certificate and stuff like that you can put it down there anything supporting your application goes right down here so usually i put the um, letter of explanation right at the front here and anything else goes afterwards yeah guys and that's it for that the next option once you do everything it will give you the option in order for you to proceed so it's not giving me the option because i haven't filled out everything but once you fill out everything it gives you the option to proceed you pay your fees and you press submit and ta-da that's it I'll show you what it looks like once you um, have submitted your application and you're in the waiting stage. Okay, once you log in, this is what it will look like. Then you press check full application status. Here, it gives you a brief overview of your application to the right where it says applicant's information. That's your information where it tells you your biometrics information and when you submit it and stuff like that. To the left though it gives you like a brief synopsis of what's happening on your application all right usually i won't see the background details until everything is completed if you should scroll to the bottom where it says details about your application this is where you get all the details where it says about your eligibility your um, background information your medical and stuff like that but you won't most of it won't change until the entire process is complete then that's where you'll see everything okay guys and that's a wrap i trust that this video has been very beneficial and helpful to anybody who's watching don't forget to like this video to share it to anybody you know who wants to do an application as well thank you guys for watching see you until next time